So we are going to look at the popliteal artery and its surface marking and how it continues from the femoral artery from the anterior compartment. The course of the femoral artery running through the adductor canal, coming out through the adductor hiatus from the anterior compartment, running to the posterior compartment and now it is lying on the condyle of the femur right in the midline as a popliteal artery. So you had to visualize it coming through the adductor hiatus from the anterior compartment round the femur, the bone, to lie on the bone on the posterior surface. When it comes to the popliteal fossa, the popliteal artery can either bifurcate or trifurcate. Regardless, it is usually divided into an anterior tibial artery which runs anterior to the tibia, a posterior tibial artery which runs posterior to the tibia, and a peroneal artery which runs on the side of the fibula on the lateral side. So if I mark it here, that will be the popliteal artery dividing into a posterior tibial which accompanies the tibial nerve all the way down. So that what I'm drawing now is the posterior tibial artery coming down this way. The anterior tibial artery which pierces the muscle down there and comes anterior which we will show from the front and the peroneal artery running on the side or the peroneal compartment. Just coming back to the relationship with the, between the posterior tibial artery and the tibial nerve, both these structures run behind the medial malleolus in the leg. So as it comes down here, the tibial nerve runs down there along with the posterior tibial artery. So both the tibial nerve and the posterior tibial artery are structures behind the medial malleolus and they enter the sole of the foot as the medial and the lateral plantar arteries and the medial and the lateral plantar nerves.